Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is the story of how I dropped everything in my life so I can roller skate at the the beach. Have you ever been so fed up with your life that you didn't care anymore about anything? Well, I have. Tonight, the guy that I was seeing that I really, really liked broke up with me. I think it's time I'm gonna move. I'm gonna figure out a new life for myself. I've been here too long. I thought I was doing okay, but I got like super sad. I just went back to bed because I did not have the energy to take on the day. So I decided I would leave. I've been like looking at Airbnbs like over the past day, 24 hours, I guess. And I think I found the perfect one. We have seashells and sightseeing in St. Augustine. I would change my life, travel, adventure, do more of what I love, like creating videos, drawing, and roller skating. I didn't tell anybody. And we're gonna figure this out. And I don't know what's gonna happen, but that's way better than being here and knowing exactly what's gonna happen and knowing that it's gonna suck. There's no downside in trying. Let's go have fun with my friends before I don't see them for a very long time. Oh, yes, we have it, we have it, okay. Where are you? Okay, just said goodbye to my friends. They didn't know I was saying goodbye, but I said goodbye. They're the only thing I'm gonna miss. I can't live my life without trying and without having left my hometown. I want my life to be awesome and I need to figure that out as soon as possible because I have lived for too long being meh about everything. And I don't wanna be meh about my life. I want my life to be awesome and I wanna be super happy about it. And I wanna be like, every day is something that I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yes, let's do this. Because right now, like, oh man, <laughs> sucks. So I'm gonna make it better. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know that I don't wanna come back. I don't wanna be back here, ever. Be a new person, find happiness and freedom. Whatever, I don't care, something different. I don't know what to pack and put in the car. I have sheets, clothing, laundry stuff pretty overwhelmed not just by this by life I don't know how to do this okay so i have everything packed clothing and i have all my roller skate stuff i needed to find a new life okay we are ready to go it's time <laughs> everything's all loaded up Let's go on an adventure. I feel very at peace driving away from my hometown. I'm gonna need to figure out a solution to this. Day one, I'm a real adventurer now. Going on a real adventure. I don't know how it's gonna end up. But look, it's already so much better than before. New River Gorge Bridge. Water and sunshine. It feels so good. Driving south, knowing I'm not planning on coming back. That's freedom. I wanna go back to my stupid life. And I'm allowed to change my mind and do something completely different, be a completely different person. And I'm gonna be at the beach. And I'm gonna roller skate. Today we 
are going to the bridge spot. I found it by Googling skate parks in Charleston and it said that it was a cool skate park underneath a bridge. So that is where we're going today. And look at where the GPS took me. I am in this like cute little neighborhood of like little red brick houses that must be like 200 years old or something. And this is definitely not where the bridge spot is, but this is where the GPS took me, but I'm pretty sure that it's just over that way. So we're gonna head over in that direction. I basically get the feeling that the GPS was like, you know, I got you close enough. I believe in you to figure out the rest. And so here we are. I have found a spot where it seems like everybody is parking. There is no way that all of these people are going to the skate park. So this must just be like a parking spot. And I think it's gonna be like in that direction that we walk. And honestly, looks pretty rad. I don't usually use the word rad, but I feel like this is a time in which case the word rad could be used. It looks rad. So I'm gonna eat a banana first, a banana with peanut butter stuff, because I am absolutely starving. Peanut butter stuff, delicious. <laughs> and that's breakfast. So I'm gonna eat that and then let's go explore and skate. And hopefully there's a mini ramp. I really want to go on a mini ramp because I really need it because all the big ramps that I've been on, like the half pipes, they're so scary. But you know what else is scary? Also going to a new skate park. Also going to the regular skate park was a little bit scary too because I didn't know very many people or any people at all. <sighs> scary meeting new people every time. I see some people walking over there. Can you see them? Maybe they're going to the skate park. Uh, they're not carrying skate stuff. I ate both. Boy, do I feel ridiculous. I'm just, I'm just walking under a bridge. There's no other skaters around. I have just all of my stuff here. And I am uh, talking to a camera. <laughs> I am the most ridiculous person that has ever been here. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. I think I am. Here's here's what I'm seeing here. This is this is what we're looking at. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? <laughs> what if there's people there? What if there's not people there? Okay, this actually looks really freaking cool. And look at all the cool graffiti art too. This is totally cool. But the ground is really wet. I see this being an issue. It might ruin my bearings or something. Look at the art. That is so cool. Even though it's totally rainy, we're doing this. We're doing this anyway. And I will just dry off my skates afterwards. Okay, we are suited up and ready to go in the rainy, the rain. See the little droplets on the ground. But it's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day. And you probably can't hear me, but, <laughs> cause it is really loud because we are under a bridge. But let's skate. It's a mini ramp. That's what I was looking for. 
I saw a mini ramp, and you better betcha that we are heading over to the mini ramp. It's what I've needed. easier but it's so hard the curves come so fast getting better i leave you with some words of skate wisdom it's gonna be okay look at my skates they're all Gross. What a cool skate park. And the art here is awesome. So neat, so many cool like obstacles to jump over. Yeah, I could totally see myself moving here and going to that skate park all the time. And I'm sure it's even better when it's not covered in raindrops. But yeah, that was awesome. 10 out of 10 recommend. After skating though, I kind of wish I had a place to like go home to and relax. Cause usually I would like do that and then drive home and like get something to eat or whatever but i don't really have a home now so i guess like do i go to planet fitness do i sit in my car do i drive to the beach like i have to like find these places to like hang out and if i'm traveling a lot then i'm not gonna know where the best places are which gives me anxiety there's no place to calm down. Fire truck. I will figure it out. It's not that bad. I can deal with this. If I get to see tons of cool skate parks while I'm traveling, like it's totally worth it. And then I'll figure out where I wanna live eventually. Or maybe I'll never figure it out and I'll just keep traveling for the rest of my life. Maybe I'll get a van, I don't know. People would like know that you're living in it if you have a van. But in my car, it's very inconspicuous. Have you ever seen such a beautiful thing? I want it to be. He's so cute in his little skates. It's like so late, but I figured it out. Goals for today are to go exercise first, get my water bottle. Then we have maybe skating at the beach and drawing at the beach. Sounds like a pretty good day. Oh, yeah, and then getting gas at Sam's Club. I need to find a Sam's Club around here because I think the gas will be cheaper. <laughs> and then tomorrow we're driving to Jacksonville. All done. Done with the gym, now let's go to either Walmart or the beach. So I went over that bridge and I remembered that there was like this really cool little park underneath it and I was like, I need to go explore that. So I'm eating lunch and this, you'll see it. It's just oats and milk. We're gonna explore this park. I'm so excited and parking's free here, which matters a lot to me because I don't, I don't know why it does. I don't know why a dollar parking is just like such an off-putting thing. It just says, the parking guy is coming, you better watch out, and we don't really want you here. But the parking is free here, and I'm gonna explore this little park. Look at the view right here. It's so pretty. What a nice day. I'm very excited. I might take my iPad and draw. Okay, so I just had this idea. I'm gonna check something. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think we're gonna like this. That will work very well for roller skating. And 
that girl in that car probably thinks I'm crazy. So I have just realized that there are people living my dream life every day. I would like to be one of them. Look at me. I want to do this every day. We are in South Carolina. I plan on having breakfast like right after I left because I'm trying to get to Jacksonville earlier today. It ends up that there are like no places to stop at all. It's all just like country roads and people's houses. And I thought I would be able to pull off and make breakfast, which is what I'm doing now. I have oatmeal in a cup. We're eating breakfast on the road today. And it's only like a four hour drive to Jacksonville. I love driving. Such a weird thing to like is I just like driving. I could absolutely see myself living there. I would love to live in Charleston, but it's just a little bit cold, a little chilly right now. It's like 50 degrees outside. And I mean, it is January and it's a million times better than Morgantown. I wanna be able to like roller skate year round. And I really wanna like set up a place where I could like build something. Like I wanna buy some land and then I wanna throw a few tiny houses down on it and then a skate park down on it. And then I can have like a skate house and I invite other roller skaters over so you guys can come and roller skate with me. But so yeah, I'm excited for even warmer weather. It's just a little cold. Gotta make breakfast now. <laughs> and this is where I am right now. It's like, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Every once in a while, there'll be like five cars that drive up. And sometimes they looked at me and thought I was weird for having milk in the car, but. Making breakfast in the car is such a dangerous game. I could spill this milk everywhere. I'm being very careful. I used to think traveling was stressful, but I'm totally enjoying it. I'm like, I could drive every day and I get to see new things. Seeing new things is good. I thought that like safety would be like a little scary. And I mean, it probably is, but so far felt very safe. Been in very safe areas so far. So we're in Georgia now and we have like two hours left and the first two hours just flew by. Just driving, listening to music, talking to my friend. So fun. That's what I need. So I'm at a truck stop in Georgia and I just decided that I needed to text my employer and tell him that I was not going back because I felt like I should tell him as soon as possible, probably, because that's like nice. So yeah. I just quit my job. I'm not going back. And I of course said, thank you so much for all of the great opportunities and for all the good times because that gym has got me like so many friends. All my friends came from the gym and that place was amazing. It's an amazing gym, like the best gym around by far. And I loved doing CrossFit there. It was really fun, but I need the sunshine and I need to skate. And I think I will coach online instead. So if any of you guys want help learning how to uh, get fit for roller skating, let me know, I'm here. I just quit coaching at the gym, so I can help you online. Just arrived at my Airbnb. And I think today, honestly, I'm just gonna just hang out here and probably like try to plug in my computer and just like chill out because I have driven all day now and I am probably too tired to like drive into the city today and I want to be able to get up early enough tomorrow to like do lots of stuff in the city because I want to like really drive in. I need to figure out how far away the city or the beach is. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna do today. Just 
relax. Good morning, I have a lot of goals for today and I wrote them down last night so I didn't have to like think about them all night or else they would just keep me up. But the first thing is I need to go to Planet Fitness and I need to go grocery shopping. I need to draw something and then I want to, this is the main goal, roller skate. Workout done. I am so hungry now. So got my groceries. The eggs at the grocery store were like $8, so I didn't get eggs. Time to eat now. Working on it. So if it does come to it, I think this could be a really great place to sleep. I have plenty of space to lay down and I can cover the windows with my window cover things that I made right here. And I just have to make sure my stuff is all organized and this is my camping mattress here. But yeah, I can totally pull that off if I need to. It's not a real adventure if you don't sleep in your car. But hopefully it doesn't come to that because hopefully I can uh, get my business to take off. We are heading to Jacksonville right now. So I have a Zoom meeting at 6.30, but look at where I am. I am at the beach and it's sunset and I have like 45 minutes and we are gonna go roller skating. Look at the sunset. Can you even believe it? It's so pretty out here. Yeah! And I'm skating here at sunset. It's January. I love being at the beach. <laughs> We're coming. I got to do what I wanted to do. I got to roller skate at the beach. And let me tell you, it is just as good as I hoped. <laughs> so I've been working really hard to finish this website because I wanted to finish this website and the Skate Crush website, but I knew that this one needed to be pr the priority because I know I can actually help you guys with this and Skate Crush is just for fun because I like making art. I made this website all by myself and I'm really proud of it and I know I can help you guys. So... I'll have it linked below. I've been a fitness coach for six years now and I know it has helped me so much with roller skating and I would love to help you with it too. And I know how important fitness is to being able to learn how to skate better and faster and easier and injury free. It helps so much. I know I can help you guys. Very happy with the progress.